Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ronald. All right, I'm going live right now. Uh, before we get into our today's topic, I just want to make sure I'm live. Uh, if you are watching this live, uh, please hashtag live. If you are watching replay, give me some replay. All right. So, um, let's see if I'm live. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I'm live right now. Okay, I'm supposed to be in dual die team. Let me check one more time. Okay, I'm live right now. Okay, cool. So, let's go. all right, cool guys. Okay, guys. Um, I was on uh on the live stream since since this morning 8 a.m. Right now it's almost 11 a.m. Yes, uh, since I'm going live, um, I decide to go live here too, too. All right, so today's topic is a little bit about uh, content strategy. Um, I see so many people are still having a hard time uh, putting out your content out. Okay, um, you have to understand, uh, if you are an organic marketer, it doesn't matter if you are in uh, uh, making a short videos or making uh, like Instagram reels, or you are doing a TikTok or Facebook, it doesn't really matter. It applies to everywhere, guys, okay? You really have to know, understand how to do this, okay? Uh, I know a lot of people are talking about content strategy everywhere, but did you ever see anybody really show you what, how to create a content strategy like step-by-step step for any beginners, okay? If you are still beginner, if you are still struggling, you have to consider yourself as a beginner too. Uh, because people really thinking about selling only, but they don't really talking. They don't really thinking about the content strategy because that is why you jump around everywhere. Okay, even though you create a content consistently every single day, nothing happens, right? Nothing really happens, right? Ask yourself: Is it anything happen in your life? Nothing happens. So I will show you why is that your problem? Why is that causing you not making sales every day, every week, every month? And then I will make sure today uh, you will get all the thing that you need to apply in your business starting today. Okay. So then why is the content so important? Well, because is, this is where everything starts. Content is part of driving traffic. How are you going to drive traffic with utilizing social media? I mean, you can do, uh, you can drive traffic using paid ads or you can just uh, hire solo ad vendors or you can just, you know, um, you know, uh, Pull out, the, pull out your uh, lead magnet and collect email and sending an email. Yeah, it's all part of uh, uh, a lead generation, right? We call it drive tra driving traffic. But you have to understand people who are actually doing this full-time job and making money consistently every single month, we actually use diversified of making money. What I'm saying is we use everything. We use email, right? Sometimes we use pay that. Sometimes we run a social media or getting marketing. We do everything because it. Because more the traffic you have, you will have higher chance of making sales. That's the number. It's a number game, guys. It's always a number game. More the, uh, more the audience you have, you will make more money. Uh, even though people say you don't even, you, you, even though you have small audience, well, it still works. What I'm saying is there's no right and wrong answer. We utilize everything. Okay? That's why we keep making more money, more money every, 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 every time you actually grow your business. That's how it goes. But how can you do that when you're starting out? So that is why content is where everything starts, okay? Because when people don't know you yet, no one's going to care what you say. No one's care about what you're going to offer in the end because they don't know you what the heck you're doing in online space. So you have to put your content out. Then why is it that it's so important? Because... If you see the big picture in this online space, we only do two things in big picture, big picture. Number one, we build the audience. That's it. We build the audience. Then what's the next? We offer. That's the only two things we do. We build the audience, we offer. We build the audience, we offer. We build the audience, we offer. That's it. That's the only thing we do. Then how do you build the audience? Right? And how do you offer something? It's all about content, right? So uh, I'm going to go into uh, entire screen, share. So now I'm going to go into my whiteboard and I'm going to share something uh, really cool here, all right? So here's the thing, though. Um, content strategy is breaking down into uh, two things, okay? Strategy, all right? 
Content strategy is always break it down into a uh, two thing, okay? It's building an audience. And we offer, okay? Now, if we break it down a little bit smaller, what is building an audience? Yeah, it's all about trying to generate leads, right? It's all of a part of, this is where all the driving traffic happens, right? Then, what could be the, uh, the way we build audience? How do you build audience? Well, um, the, the, the content strategy is very simple thing, guys. You do not need to overcomplicate yourself. It's very thing. It's very simple thing. It all boils down to no like trust, really. Uh, the thing that I love of marketing is every time I keep implement and do things over the years and learn more stuff inside, actually, it's overwhelming. Yes, it is. But as you keep doing this, it gets more, more, more simpler. Yeah, this is so cool. Right. So then what is content strategy? It's all boys not to know like trust. So literally, we that's why uh, my recommendation, also uh, many people from my previous mentors and everybody, all they say, you, you have to make minimum three content per week. Okay, three content per week. It's must. This, this is how I see it. There's no right, and right or wrong answer. If you can find what works for you, totally cool. But the way I see it is that in, you know, universally, I see people has to make three content per week. Then why is it three content? That is the thing that uh, I want to talk about. This is a rule of three. This is how I see it. Rule of three. Three content per week is the minimum. Now, so then how do we apply this into our building an audience and offer? Now, think about it. As I said before, who is going to see offer? Majority is your audience. People who doesn't know you yet, they are not going to see offer. Think about it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and, okay. So think about all the people here. I know some people are doing, you are selling your own coaching program. Some people are already online course creator and some people are affiliate marketers selling other people's product. Yeah, because my group is mostly about high ticket marketing uh, a space, right? So think about if you have a done for you program. For example, this is for the example, guys, okay? Say we call it done for you program. For What is done for you program? Somebody is making sales for you on a back end. All you need to do is drive traffic, right? If you drive traffic to that program, the, the program, their team is going to make sales for you. That is what we call a done for you program. But thing is, most done for you program gives you every single week, uh, they give you like copy paste uh, content, like put it out without you any make, uh, creating for you or, or by yourself. They give you, right, done for you. So if you go out there since last year, it was crazy, by the way. Um, Everybody is putting out the exact same content everywhere, right? Because they are copy and pasting it. But why, why is that, that less than 3% people are only making money? And why is that more than 97% people are not making sales? You have to look carefully, all right? Because these 3% people already build their audience. Okay? So when they put the offer out, even though it's copy paste, totally copy paste, people people look at it. And they 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 type it in hashtag Mimi. I'm interested in more info. Yeah, they come to those 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 content. But why is that? Even though you are using the exact same thing, and not even generating leads, and crack it, nobody cares. No sales. Why? Because you have no audience. Think about it. Every social media is algorithm. You also have to follow the algorithm, because this is not a free play. It's free place. You have to do some work and get rewarded by the social media, all right? So what I'm saying is, in Facebook, is especially since I'm a Facebook organic marketer, um, especially in Facebook, Facebook is really awesome. But I mean, in my opinion, because, um, well, because I know where people are hanging around already. Okay, I know where they are hanging around. That is why I can grow my audience really quick, which I'm gonna talk about in the end. So for now. Make sure that the reason that people, even though you are, that's why these people, 97, 97% people doesn't know what their problem is and they're only blaming the program. Oh, this program sucks. It's nothing. It's not even working. No, it's not. Actually, it's your fault because you are not following the book. 
you have to play by the book because marketing is a process. So uh, building an audience is the first thing you have to really focus on, not selling it. You cannot sell anything when you're beginning out because you have no audience. When you put your content out, only your friends, your mother, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your close friend is going to see your content. These people are not your buyer, right? That's right. No one's going to see your content, number one. Number two, nobody cares because they don't know you yet. And people are very skeptical. Think about it. How many scammers are online space? Crazy, right? That's right. They don't know you, what you do, what you stand for, what you, what, what you can do for them. They don't care. That is why you have to think about building your audience first. It doesn't take that long. For me, all my students, I always tell them, your first month is very crucial because that's where everything starts. Your first month, learn the foundation, implement, start building your audience. That's the only thing I let them focus on, on the first month. If you really follow this process, after first month, your life becomes really easier. Okay, you will start making sales. So I'm gonna go back to uh, my dashboard, right? So, so here's the thing. How do you build an audience through your social media utilizing your content? So. There is two content we write out of the three content. One, two, and this is uh, one, two, and this is three. Okay. Now, the the in order to build the audience, the first thing that you have to put it out is we call I call it no like trust post, KLT post. What it means is that this is all about you. It's your story. You are sharing your failure, your embarrassment, your epiphany, your big whys. Um, uh, your achievement, uh, your past story, what you did in the past, why are you here? All those things and your life stories too. You are keep sharing these stories to actually tell them who you are, what you can do, what you stand for, right? Mostly this kind of post there, as I said, if you just write a regular post, then it becomes a regular post. We are here to do the business. We are here to build the audience. So sometimes the best way to actually write your KLT post is the objective is to motivate people, okay, and inspire people through your story, okay? It, this is the best way to uh, attract people and resonate people, okay? So you write this every single week. Yeah, as I said, these three content has to be written every single week. We mix and blend it and put it out. It doesn't matter how the order goes, okay? These three content has to be mixed and blend every single week. That's how we recommend it, all right? So KLT post is uh, it's all about your story. What did you do? What happened yesterday? What was the epiphany you had? For example, if you learn something from your mentor, share it. What kind of thing you experienced, right? Write anything that relates to your story. So let them know you, who you are, okay? Tell them you're legit. You are not a scammer. That's how people see you. So if you keep doing this, you this is a really fast way to attract people, resonate people. Now, what is the second uh, thing? I call it uh, a pre-selling content or a value content. Then why is that this content is must? Because this is where you talk about what you can do for your people. What I'm saying is when we call it pre-selling content or, or value content, um, it's mostly trying to get rid of people's objection and disbelief of what, you're, what you do and what your product is all about by talking about the specific problem in your market. In order to create a market demand, you have to bring the problem first. Talk about the very specific problem that's going on in your market and give them a solution. Yeah, it's okay to over deliver, right? Solution. Now, when you give a solution, you can directly give them a solution, but my way of doing things is I give a solution through my experience all the time, always through how did I overcome it? How am I overcoming it? Yeah, show them step by step the solution. And then I give them a small call to action. Yeah, it could be me, hashtag me, or it could be join my group. It doesn't matter, right? But I don't like to say a DM me because people are passive. They are lazy. They never DM you, okay? Unless you're actually really popular or maybe really seven figure, right? But still, people don't DM you. That's why I put very simple call to action where people can do it easily. Like, hey, hashtag me, interested in, or info or maybe join my group, that's it, okay? Yeah, so um, then, and this is the thing that I write. The last, uh, the third uh, content I write is, yeah, I we call it offer post. 
Now, all for post is, it's a very simple thing. It could be long or short, short or long, okay? Now, all for post could be uh, many different things. You can give them freebie, right? Free training or free cheat sheet, free PDF or free Google Docs. Or you can give them a low tickets, right? Like cup of coffee. That's, that's how I do things these days, right? Cup of coffee, whatever that is. Give them, okay? And then now, do you see these are the three content is actually the strategy? Why is it these three content make a strategy? I'll explain to you. Now, KLT post is all about your story, right? Then who am I talking to? You have to know exactly when you write a content. You have to really understand who your target audiences are. And you explicitly target very specific people that you want to talk to on that day. So usually the no like trust post is all about your story, right? You got to let them know you who you are. It's all, it's mostly new, new people. Yeah, new people. People who doesn't know you well yet, okay? Who doesn't know you. You know what? I will talk about the how to, you can actually build your, grow your audience very simple with a, a automated tool I use. But think about it. New people don't know you yet. They don't know who you are, what you do. What your job is. They don't even know if you're married or not. They don't even know if you have a kids. They don't even know if you have dogs. They don't know. They don't know where you came from. Share it. Keep sharing it over and over again. Then this is for the new people who doesn't know you yet. Now, then what is pre-selling and content and value content? Yes, this is trying to uh, pre-sell them by uh, bringing up the problem and give a solution and give a little call to action. Then who am I talking to? Yes. Now, this is people who are start knowing you or people who already who already knows you. If you keep doing this, they will trust you more and more and more. So actually, these two posts, they are no like trust posts about your story and pre-selling and, and value content is all about talking about the problem in your market and give a solution and give a little call to action is, uh, uh, these two content is actually trying to build the audience, okay? Now, you see? People who doesn't know you yet, they will start know you. Now, if you put the pre-selling content out or value content out, now the people will start liking you and trusting you, okay? Now, these two content is gonna make, build your audience. Then what do I do? I put the offer out. The reason I'm doing this is, think about it. Every week, we, we, I put it out this three kinds of content and mix and blend it and over and over again every single week because my new friends are coming into my ecosystem every single day. I got to let them know me well. So I talk about my story. It could be my yesterday story. It could be a, a story about what I'm doing right now, what I'm planning, right? I talk about so many things about me, myself, and also trying to motivate them, inspire them through my failure, my achievement, all that, share it, right? And then I pre-sell them. I talk about the value stuff, like uh, give them really good tips and tricks through my experience. Yeah, I, I, you know, like in the past I did this, I failed it, and now I realized that this was my biggest mistake. And now, uh, now I'm solving this problem with step one, step two, step three. And now I'm, I solve this problem. Hey, do you want to see more in-depth training? I have a free training for you. Check it out. Or maybe join my group and hang around with me. I'll go weekly coaching call. I'll do something for you. Yeah, something you have to like show them, demonstrate, or you can do demonstration. You can go live in your profile or your group, like what I'm doing right now. This is what we call a demonstration. I show you what exactly I do in my business to build my uh, a, a generate income every single week, every single month, right? So this is how you build your audience. People who knows you well and they, they trust you and now they are ready to see your offer. Now, that is why now I'm also putting out the offer because here's the thing though, we don't know who is going to trust me. I don't know who's ready to see my offer. We don't know that. That is why we randomly put this out every single week. But it's actually a strategy, guys, okay? No headache, no jumping around, nothing. This is the only thing you do. Even though you're beginning out, it's okay to put your offer out. It's okay, All right? If you don't have an offer, you can offer them later on, okay? But you have to stick to this over and over again. As I said, more the content, the better. Because if you put yourself out more and let them see you more, yeah, then you grow your audience a lot faster and more bigger. So this is why we are doing it every single day. So think about um, people who doesn't know you yet. They are not going to see your offer. They are going to just ignore it, 
right? It's not going to work. So as you keep building audience and at the same time, we put the offer out again and again and again. And then we are waiting for these people too who are ready to see it. They're going to come to you and they're going to check it out. And then if, they're, if your offer is really good, yeah, then they buy it. Okay? So we are keep doing this every week, every month, over and over and over again. So do you see, if you see the big picture, it's same, right? We build the audience and we give them an offer. We build the audience, we give them an offer. We keep rinse and repeat this over and over again. That's why consistency is really important in organic marketing because you are not using any money for paid ads, right? That's the whole thing. Either you use money or you use your effort and your time and put it out. So now, now this is how you build the audience, okay? As I said, building an audience is the first thing that you have to must focus, but it never ends. It never ends. It's our job. Look at your, your coaches. Look at your mentors. How much content they're putting it out consistently every single week. Look at it. And what, how many emails are you getting from these people? They send you out minimum. Maybe they send you out like every day. Or some people will send you out email at least three times a week. Yeah. Very consistently, right? Think about what they're doing right now. They are keep building audience. Now they are nurturing people. Now they are giving out their offers over and over and over again. Here, here's the fun part. Uh, two days ago, uh, somebody bought my uh, CRM. And actually, that person saw my offer like three months ago. And that person was already in my system as an interested person. Yeah, that person was became my lead to my CRM. But this person didn't buy it for three months. But now he bought it. You see? He was already my audience, but it doesn't mean that everyone is actually ready to buy something. Not all the time. That's why we keep rinse and repeat this until we trigger their buying process. And then they become your buyer. Okay? So now do you see what's going on? This is how you do things. All right? So now do you see the content strategy is not a big thing. It's very simple thing that you just have to rinse and repeat. Three is the minimum, guy. As I said, more the better. But three things is like must. No, like trust post is all about your story. Let them know you, who you are, what you stand for, right? And then you pre-sell them, and you create a, 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 or you uh, provide a value content talking about the problem in your market. Give them a solution, how you are solving it, and give a little call to action. You keep reading and repeat this. These two content is actually building your audience, all right? And then we give them an offer time to time. You know what? You can give them offer more than one time every week. It doesn't matter, okay, how you write things, okay? So we use this minimum three content to create a content strategy. It's a strategy, guys, really. I let new people know me, and then people who start knowing me, they're going to see my content, and they're going to consume what I do, right? And they're going to trust me. Now, I am keep doing this to build the audience. When, when I say audience means these people will be, ready to see your offer and buy your offer. And then we put the offer out regularly. Because if you, you don't put your offer out, nobody knows if you have something to sell. Okay? You have to, you know, don't be scared of putting your offer out. Okay? But only putting your offer out, it's not going to make you sell. It's not going to happen. Unless it's very shiny. Okay? But it doesn't happen that anymore. So, we have to use these three different contents and mix and blend it every single week is the only thing you need to do right now. It's a very simple thing. Then what could be the other thing that you can actually um, use this strategy, but at the same time, what is another thing that you can add on the top of it to actually build your audience really quick? So, um, so, so here's the thing, though. Um, I mean, there's no, there's many different ways we do things, okay? Uh, my previous mentor uh, actually taught me how to create a Google Doc, or we call it Offer Doc, and how to actually build the audience, how to properly craft your content out, and then build a relationship and utilizing Facebook group. And then inside a group, we nurture people, and then we give them an offer. And then when we go into the DMs, hey, DM is always there, guys, okay? But you can make sale without sales call. Yeah, I learned that. And actually, I implemented it. I used it. It was awesome. But when I was teaching this back to my students, it didn't work out as I, I figured because they don't have audience. They have no one to build a relationship with. Okay? 
So these people cannot use that uh, method to build their business right now because it's very advanced part. This is for the people who already have audience. They know what they're doing. They have some expertise, what they're doing. And these are the people who can actually utilize this method to scale their business without going on a sales call. But it's not going to happen to you. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Because you have an audience. Do you think this thing is magic one? No, it's not. It's just part of the process. Because people who are seeing your offer document, Google PDF file, like Google document for the offer, they are already ready to buy something from you because you already built the relationship and trust through this process. Okay? So they are pretty much uh, reluctant to uh, see your offer. And if your offer is good, they buy it. That's why we call it, we don't need to go on a sales call. But it's not going to happen to you. But it's a skill set. It's very advanced skill set. And you have to put your energy and time to build it up. So then how can you do this really fast? Now, a lot of people say you don't need to add people. You don't need to uh, go to other groups and then, you know, make a friend. No. Well, you can do that too. Just bring your content out everywhere. Go TikTok, make Reels, Instagram, and keep bringing people into your uh, ecosystem. But look at these people, what they are doing. They are only showing the one piece of a puzzle, make a hype, and telling you that this system works. No, not actually. Every system works. It's just that it's all connected. They are only showing you the part of it. They don't show the back end what's going on. Then it's really hard to make a sales copy. That's why. <laughs> I'm very transparent with you guys, okay? So here's the thing, though. If you look at this paper carefully, they already have a Facebook group. They are growing their members inside. And they are pretty much know what they're saying. They are pretty much expert. All these people are actually also coaches for many years, maybe more than a year. How about you? Can you do that? Well, from my uh, past experience, I don't think I can do that even if, if I'm starting out for, as a beginner. No, I can't. Then how can you actually grow your audience really quick and so you can actually implement all of these kinds of things that people are teaching you aside to scale your business. As I said, building your audience is must. This is where everything starts. So that is why we're trying to shorten our period of time to build our audience. As I said, everything, there's no such thing as a magic wand. Offer doc, Google doc is not a magic wand. My software is not a, it's not a magic wand. My CRM is not a magic wand. It's just a tool to make my job easier and faster. That's it. But if you know how to utilize it, it actually helps your business really grow faster. So I will show you a, a tool that I'm using to grow my audience faster than ever before. So I'm gonna go, in, I'm gonna share the screen. So here's the thing. All right, so uh, this is uh, my, my uh, Facebook account. So here's the thing though. Now, um, you know, it's like this. Uh, look at all these people are putting out their content and over and over again, everywhere, right? Right? But you have to understand, you really have to know, do not waste your time writing a content that is not gonna help you out in your business. I don't waste my content, all right? As I said, I showed you three content that you can apply it today or tomorrow right away to actually create your own content strategy. If you keep doing this more than two weeks or, or four weeks, you will see the big difference, okay? So um, say, uh, let's see. So uh, there's a few ways I actually uh, grow my audience and generate list and also grow my email list at the same time. I will show you everything today, all right? The first thing's first, how do I grow my audience really quick when I'm beginning out? Now, we all know that, um, you know, where your, uh, uh, your, your, your target audience hang around, right? The Facebook is a really awesome place to start for any beginners because we already know where your target audience are hanging around. Yeah, it's all private groups, right? Facebook groups. So say for example, I'm going to use like GroupFun or something like this, right? Now we already know where your uh, target audience are hanging around. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is, okay? Now you can do it manually or you can do it uh, automatically. For me, I don't wanna waste my time. So 
uh, when, what I usually do is when I write a content, right? Say, for example, I always open the, the two Facebook tab on my browser, okay? I'm showing you exactly what I do, okay? Uh, what I'm doing is I write this, right? I, 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 uh, uh, I put out two Facebook tab. So one tab is for the another task. Another tab is for the another task. So what I'm doing is I do two tasks at one time. Because think about it, either way, you are going to spend some time, maybe 10 minutes or 30 minutes on your desktop trying to write some kind of content, right? Then are you just going to write a content? Then after you write a content, then you go to other groups, maybe on your DM and do some of that. It's, it's time wasting. I do everything at once. So say, for example, I'm going to post something here, okay? Say, for, uh, for example, write something on my content. Now, when I'm writing a content, Actually, I'm, I'm going to target one of the group that I joined and I'm going to go to members. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, um, software. We, uh, if we call the friend connector. Okay. Now, this software is going to add your friends automatically for you. I mean, there's more feature than you know, but I'm going to show you today. You can check it out later on if you are interested. In it. But I'm only using this tool to add friends. Okay, why I'm just adding friends? Because they're gonna consume my content. Because this is how Facebook uh, Facebook algorithm works. Facebook always encourage people to uh, build a network, socialize with people inside of Facebook platform. So even though they are not your friend yet, if you request a friend to them, Facebook is gonna somehow let them see your content immediately, okay? So I'm using that, I'm taking that advantage of that algorithm in my business to uh, let them consume my content, which I'm using a free minimum content strategy every week to let them see it, consume it. So that's how I build my audience. So all I need to do is just start run it. Now then it's going to keep requesting a friend to all these people in my target group. This is the only thing I do. Okay, what I'm teaching you is that I'm not teaching you here to spam people. No, that's not how we do things. We do not spam people. Instead, I'm just keep adding friend over and over again. A new friend. Think about it. There is three billion people here, guys. Okay, how many friend lists do you have in your in your uh, friend? And and even though you have a one thousand friend already, how long have you been on your friends and your Facebook friend list for how long? What six months? Three months? Look, these people, are not, if they are not interacting with you at all, then they are inactive. Then you also have to remove these friends. So I'm also using another software. We call it a friend disconnector to actually remove all my friends. So if I, uh, if I go into uh, my dashboard here, uh, I can actually uh, look for the inactive friends, okay? Inactive friends to actually remove all these people at once. Now, uh, but don't overuse it because I don't want to see my Facebook to see I'm using a bot. So we actually uh, limit what we do, how many numbers and how many frequencies we do to so safely. I, I'll, I will talk about that uh, ne maybe next time, but today it's not about how to use this feature, right? So I'm using this kind of thing to actually keep refreshing my friend list over and over again to actually uh, grow my engagement faster. So. So do you see it's keep adding friend, right? If you see this red mark, it means we are not related any way necessary. So we I can add them, but it's going to keep doing it for me. And until it accomplish the number of the friend that I requested. So I usually, when I add friend, I only request a friend to 30 people, maybe 30 to maybe 60 people per time, right? Per day, per day. Okay. So I set up a number of a request. And then once that number is uh, shift, then it will automatically stop. So in meantime, I'm gonna go back to my another Facebook tab, and then I'm gonna start write my content, okay? All right, write your content, and then you publish it. And what I'm saying is, at the same time, I am writing a content, but also I'm adding new friends who will be might become my audience, okay? So this is how I manage my time, my, manage my productivity in my business. I keep doing this over again. It doesn't even take that long. Just leave it alone. It's just going to run it by itself, okay? It's going to keep running it, run it, run it by itself 
until it fills all the 30 spots for the friend request. Then it's done. Okay. So you have to understand that, um, you know, sometimes you really need the, this kind of uh, tool to boost up your your job, your, your, your work. It's really important to do that. If you want to keep doing online business using Facebook organic marketing and trying to sell something in the end, you really have to build your audience really quick and refresh your uh, audience too. Because in Facebook algorithm, when you post something, uh, there is something called a bucket list. Okay, it's a bucket list. It's going to show uh, your it's going to show your content to people who are already engaging with you most frequently first. And then if they start engaging with you on your content, then it's gonna show to another bucket list is in your friend list and over and over again. But think about it, if you have more than 50%, people are not engaging with you in on your friend a Facebook friend list, it's going to stop there. What, what happens is your content is not gonna go viral. It's a stop. So what, I, what I'm saying is if you have lots of friend, uh, friend in your friend list, who are inactive with your content, or maybe already they are already inactive in Facebook platform, it's going to affect your algorithm and it's going to kill your engagement. What it means is that if you if if it kills your engagement, that means no one's going to see your offer, no one's going to see your content, nothing's going to happen to you, even though you are consistently doing your work every single day. It's not going to happen. All right, so. Uh, that is why it's really important to uh, refresh your friend list uh, time to time, not every day. Uh, I only do it like once a week. And then I add friend, I add new friends about two to three, three times a week, and that's it. And then I just put out my content out. But how hard is that? All I need to do is just, just use this uh, friend character and then one click and that's it. That's all I'm doing, right? And then I only uh, uh, remove the inactive friends once a week. Yeah, once a week. I, re I remove uh, inactive friends and I am adding new friends. I'm, I'm, I'm removing inactive friends. I'm adding new friends over and over again every single week. You have to treat this as a business, guys, but it doesn't take that long. What, 10 minutes or 15 minutes top, then you are pretty much done with all the work. All you need to focus on is how can I create really good content, okay? How can you create a really good content? Now, so I hope that makes sense, guys. So, um, you know, like, you know, you can put out any content. Look, I wrote this content last night before I went to sleep because, you know, I didn't, because today I need some lot of work in a live stream. So, you know, I write something content. I know it's not going to go viral, but I write it. Who cares, right? Right, I gonna see this, gonna yes, I yeah, something like that. My content was like, do you believe in third chance? Yeah, it's kind of motivating, inspiring story about my story. Yeah, I write it for the new people, right? Even though I don't have a lot of engagement on this content, right? I don't care. Just keep writing it over and over again. Yeah, it's only for nine comments, totally fine. But sometimes for a comment, totally fine. This is was actually offer content, offer post. And then, yeah, it has 28 uh, content. It has, uh, it, there, sometimes nobody interacts with this kind of content, totally fine. Sometimes, uh, yeah, I have a lot of, like six comments, totally fine. Sometimes 33 comments. And sometimes, yeah, I go uh, live showing people my demonstration, what I do, what I exactly do in my business. And this, this you know, it's also really good to go live in your profile, showing people and demonstrate what you do in your business. Okay, this is another way of growing your authority. It's not just about the money shots, okay? Money shot is just part of the pre-selling part. I mean, we do need to show people that the social proof that we are actually making money online and show the results, achievement. Yeah, it's really important, but it's not a main thing. The main thing is you have to focus on demonstrating what exactly you do in your business. That is how you become a authority figure, all right? So that's why I also go time to time going live in my profile showing people and demonstrate what I do, what I can do. And then sometimes I put the offer out. And yeah, I, I think I have to put this offer out uh, tomorrow because eight spots are gone and now only two spots left. Yeah, I think I should put it up before this uh, this month ends. Yeah, I am keep doing it over and over again. Yeah, like for example, this is one of the offer posts I did. Yeah, it was uh, with this single post, I made a 15 sale. Uh, even though it was very cheap cup of coffee sale, 15 sale, it's like more, a little more, it's almost $100. But look, out of 15 sales, 
three people enrolled into my monthly uh, plan uh, into my white label program and one person en enrolled into my GoFundMe box monthly plan. If you add up, it's more than $500 I created with, with this one single post. But you have to understand what I'm selling here is not one-time payment. It's monthly recurring revenue. With this single post, single post, okay, I created $500 monthly recurring revenue coming into my bank account since last month, right? See, April 30th, right? So people will pay. I'm going to make another extra 500 without me doing any work next week. How cool is that, right? That is why uh, you, you, these days I'm trying to mix match one-time payment and monthly recurring revenue and high ticket. I mix and blend it in my business right now, and I love it. So now I don't really have to think about too much about high ticket too much. For the high ticket, I only offer people inside my ecosystem who are ready to see it. Okay? Besides that, I don't really care anymore because high ticket, I don't need to chase people anymore because I'm generating growing my monthly recurring revenue every single month. So I love it. This So I mean, well, this is another way of doing things. So what I'm saying is, even though I posted this one single post because I was following this content strategy every single week over and over again, without me talking to people, without me going on a sales call, sometimes, you know what? Do you think all these people, 72 comments right now, if I show you this, all these 72 comments, do you think I actually comment on their uh, com and reply back to all these people's comment who said me, 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 right? Me, me, me. Do you think I manually uh, reply back to all these comments and send them a DM at the same time? If you see here, yeah. Me, thanks for the support. I will DM you ASAP. Check your messenger. Now, I will check this one. Hey, thanks for swinging by. My, uh, by uh, thanks for swinging by, brother. I will DM you. Check your messenger. Check soon. Do you think I did it all manually? No. I'm using another software called Postbit Profit uh, Pro. Now, do you see? I still have two campaigns running right now, a friend connector and Genius DM. Now, I set this up. It only takes about like less than five minutes. And then every time people type, uh, uh, say like me, 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 all I'm doing is just clicking play button and it automatically reply back to all their comments and also sending a DM at the same time. So actually, I'm not doing any work to do this. So this is the real way of doing things. Think about it. I just created $500 recurring revenue uh, income plus a couple hundred dollars sales right on the back end, just posting one single content, okay? One single content without talking to them. I didn't talk to them. Even though I sent them a DM, it was all automatic. It was all on autopilot. I didn't do anything. Okay? This is how we leverage a tool. Okay? This is how we leverage a tool. Right? So it makes my job easier so I can focus on what I can do in my business, the better, the productive, productively. Right? So uh, this is how you can do it. But here's the thing, though. Ron, I don't think I can have that kind, even though I offer the thing, I don't think people are going to come to my content and 72 people are going to like ask for this offer. Well, that's why I am keep telling you, you right now, you have to focus on building your audience. Keep building your audience, guys. Keep building it. Build your audience over and over again. Then how can you build your audience really quick? Yes. The only way you can build your audience really quick, less than four weeks, is you have to go into uh, um, like other people's group like this because Facebook is awesome because we already know where this, your target audience are hanging around, okay? Go there and just request a friend, that's it. As I said, nowadays, I don't spam them. I don't DM them at all, okay? I just add friend, that's it, because I am using my content strategy, which I showed you here, right? Oh, I think I erased it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm using my three content strategy to actually um, um, let them consume my content over and over again. And then I put in my offer out and these people seize it. Okay? So you keep rinse and repeat this and eventually it grows really fast. And then that is where you will constantly, consistently make sales after sales after sales. 
I know there's more than MSDI. There's something that you have to learn in the end, which is how to put your offer out, okay? How to put your offer out properly, how to write a content about the offer, how to uh, craft your offer so they can see your offer really compelling, right? Yeah, that's another thing you have to learn, but still, you can just put it out, okay? It's really easy thing, guys. It's not hard, right? So uh, let me go here and stop sharing. So guys, um, it's very simple thing that anybody can do, even though you're a complete beginners, you can do it. So do you see, I use this kind of tool in my business to make my job easier because I'm a one-man person. I don't have, a, I don't, um, I don't have someone, I don't hire anybody in my business to do job for me. Okay, I don't have VAs anymore. I only I only have a VA for tech support in my uh, GoFundMe box business. But when I'm actually running my business as like promotion, selling, uh, making sales, and creating content, I don't hire anybody. I do it all by myself with three different businesses. Think about how I can manage three businesses. <laughs> It's all it's all six figure business. I one is just launching it now. Two is a six figure business right now. It's a really hectic job. But how can I manage that? If without these tools, I can't. It's going to consume my time all day long, something that's unnecessary every single day. That's why I use this tool to actually make my job easier. And it's really awesome. I use it every day. Okay? So um, um, so please don't think that this tool is not working for you. If you used it in the past, then you used it wrong. You didn't utilize it correctly because you didn't understand the marketing concept. Okay, you if you know more about marketing concept, then you can make more. So here's the thing though. Um, so please make sure that growing your audience is very crucial in any business. Okay. So you really have to focus on growing your business. So and I showed you today how to do that, right? Content strategy is not a big thing. Content strategy is actually it's all boils down to no like trust and you give them an offer. Right? So you put these three types of content minimum every single week and be consistent and try it out for more than two weeks to maybe a month and you will see the difference coming out. But you have to do it consistently and then you also have to think about your content too. Yeah, you have to write a good content over and over again, but writing a good content doesn't happen over the night. That's why we keep doing it until we get better at it, right? So uh, another thing that before I wrap up, um, and also if you saw the value today, and please um, you can just hashtag type, uh, hashtag some value bomb, value bomb uh, below the comment. I'll be appreciate that. So um, before I wrap up, I want to share something really cool. Now, what if I'm going to make another video, maybe go live later on talking about this uh, one more time, but I want to give you a sneak peek. Now I'm using another tool to actually generate an uh, um, email list without talking to people, without creating a content without spamming people, anything like that. So I will show you how we do that. So, but there's caveat though, you gotta have some free gift that you can give away, uh, something value valuable to your uh, prospects, okay? So what I'm doing is, um, let me uh, share the screen. I'm gonna just give, I'm just gonna share this very sneak peek, okay? It's because this is a really cool thing that I'm implementing these days and testing out many, many different ways. So, um, <clears throat> So um, I'm using, uh, okay, here's the thing though. When you send the cold DMs, it's cold DM, right? It's really hard to, people feel that just you are spamming people. When you're sending a DM like, hey, thanks for asking my friend request, how's it going? Yeah, that's how I, I used to teach people how to do that. It still works, okay, it still works. But what could be the best way you can do that without you lifting your finger? Yeah, this is another tool I use. Right? We call it birthday wisher. Sure. Look, everybody has a birthday every year. They have all birthday every year. And, and people doesn't really hate sending you, uh, sending people, hey, happy birthday. They all love it, right? We are only wishing them their birthday. So what I do uh, this past few uh, few weeks is, I was testing some new uh, new strategy right now. Um, it's working really well, by the way. So um, say, for example, um, let's see. So I actually uh, used, used this birthday wisher to set the whole thing up. And you have to understand that inside of Facebook, we already know your Facebook friend's birthday. So if you go to uh, friends in your friend list, on the left side menu bar, you will see birthday, right? Click birthday. And then you already know, you already know your Facebook friend's birthday, right? Now you can do it manually, right? You can do it manually or you can do it 
in autopilot. For me, as I said, I don't want to waste my time, something that's unnecessary. I know it's not unnecessary, but manual job, I don't like it. So I always use a tool. So I use a birthday wisher to set the whole thing up and it can actually send a birthday wish advanced, like one day or two day up to seven day, or you can send birthday wish on that day. And also we follow, we can follow up then after two days, all the way up to seven days. So what I usually do is I, I set the whole thing up. When you set this thing up, we can post happy birthday on their profile. And also we send them a DM right off. I use this both method, okay? And then once I do this, after two days, I send them a follow-up message. So for example, um, if you see my, uh, as you know, I always organize things. So all these Facebook friends, they were my Facebook friend for maybe, uh, maybe they, they, could, they were here for like what? My friends, I have 3,000 uh, 3, Facebook friends, but more than like 60, 70, 70%, I never had a chance to talk to them. Even though they were in my Facebook, think about it. Ask yourself, how many Facebook friends do you have right now? And how many people out of your Facebook friend, friend list, how many people did you have any conversation with? I bet you, I, you will have like less than 30%. So what I'm saying is, then why are we keep adding this friend? I, I know I want them to become my audience by consuming my content, but what could be another way of creating email list and build a relationship right quicker and give them something to them so you can bring them into your ecosystem? Yeah. Happy birthday. So if you see all my tags here, these people are actually utilizing this software to send them happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to everybody. Now, what I do is, right? So if you see here, this person uh, was my Facebook friend for a quiet time, but we never had a chance to talk. So on Monday, I send this person, hey, what's up, Kara? Happy birthday. Enjoy your time with family. Yeah, people likes it. And they reply back. And then after two days later, I send this message. Hello, Kara. Hope you enjoy your birthday. I would like to give a birthday present. Use this coupon code and use this link to get it for free. It's on me. And she said, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy it and chat soon. That's it. Now, this message this first message and the, the second uh, the second day, the so message is all automated. I didn't do anything. Just one click, it does it for me. And then what happens is when people are getting my, think about it, they are getting a free gift from me, guys, okay? Well, I'm giving them a birthday present. I'm giving them a birthday present for free, right? It's a birthday present, right? But people likes it. And then when they sign up, it doesn't mean everyone's going to sign up, but People are interested in it, they sign up if it if it if it aligns with what they are doing right now. Okay. So when they sign up, I get email list. So when I was using this for two weeks now, yeah, I'm I'm actually acquiring minimum five to maybe 25 email lists every single week. Come on, guys, if you add up, if you keep doing this every week, how many email lists can you create? And this is a really high quality email list because they know me. Right? It's not like cold email, they know me. So now once they are coming into my email list, now I can give them another maybe valuable stuff. We build a relationship a little bit, nurture them, and then we start offering something on the back end later on to the email. Pretty cool, right? Yes. And also they got my uh, free gift. They're going to start consume my stuff inside. And now when they start consume stuff, now they will know me more better, what I can do for them. So then I, I start sending them an email. Usually when they, I give them a free gift and then I let them consume my stuff for seven days, at least seven days. During the seven days, I give them some more stuff for more, more like cheat sheets or tips and tricks and nurture a little more. And then after seven days, I start offer something, something other stuff. Okay. So there's always strategy behind it. But as I said, it's a sneak peek. I'm going to make a really complete course about it. I, uh, I'm going to uh, put it out maybe late or uh, maybe next time. So. This is a sneak peek that I use in my business to actually generate email lists. It's cool, right? I didn't do anything. I didn't use paid ads. I didn't create any content. I didn't put out any offer. I didn't create like, like freebie uh, lead, lead magnet content. I didn't even spam them. No. And did I do any work? I didn't do any work. It's all automated. Okay. Once I set up, set up is like what? 15 minutes? Done. All I need to do is just run it. 
okay? Once a week, once a week, that's all I do. I week, right? I run this for once a week, and then I send uh, uh, all the birthday wish for the people uh, on that day, and then I everything and, and becomes automated, and then I start acquiring email list, and then I send them an email, and I make sales. So what I'm saying is, this is another way of doing things. So what I'm saying is there's tons of way we do things, okay? But you have to understand we, we use all diversified of way of doing things. I'm also doing these things because I want to find out what works for me and what I can do easily in my business. So try it out, guys, okay? It really helps. And build a relationship lot faster. Because think about it. I didn't spam them. I didn't actually sell, try to sell something. No. I wish their birthday. And I give them a birthday, birthday present. That was it. Yeah, from bottom of my heart. But but we we build a relation later on and then, you know, see if they need something in the end. Okay? That's it. So uh, it's a really good way of doing uh, organic marketing this way too. That's why you really have to learn how to leverage your uh, tools. All right? So... Uh, that is why I when I uh, when I got this Chrome extension and put it into my uh, Chrome uh, Chrome Chrome browser, and I was start using it since like two two three two three months ago. But I wasn't sure what should I with to do this. Yeah, because I googled it, I researched it. Nobody talks about it. They only talk about how to set up uh, this thing and how to use it. That was it. They don't really show the strategy behind it. Nobody. So I was thinking through it like. Then how can I utilize this software for what? How do how do you really build a bit uh, relationship? I mean, do we really just keep talk 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 on a DM? Well, it's daunting because I only wish them a birthday. Then how can I talk on a DM? It's too much work. Then how can I generate email this quick so I they can consume it by themselves? What I can do for them? Yeah, email and your content and your or whatever you gave them, right? Let them consume it. So that was the thing that I was thinking about, and I was like, okay, I think I should check, I should test this out. Let's try this out. Yeah, I'm trying many different things from my end. And I just showed you today. I demonstrated exactly what I do. And you know what? It works, and I keep doing it. And then anybody can do this easily too. It's not hard, guys, okay? But don't overuse it, okay? That's why I only use this once or twice a week, and that's it. Right, but it also generate email list for me for free without me doing any work, and also I actually uh, make sales too. Another way of making sales on the back end. So uh, I hope that makes sense, guys. So anyway, so you see, guys, building an audience is very important, and having a lot of Facebook friends is also too. If you have only like two hundred friend list in your Facebook, if even even though you are using this kind of software, you only have like two hundred friends, three hundred friends. Come on, guys, right? And now do you see why I refresh my friend list too? Because if you are just having a 1,000, 3,000 friends for like one year, two year, three year, this software is not going to work because people have birthday every year. Then you got to give them some different gift. Maybe, yeah, that's another way of doing things. You can give them another gift, maybe next year. I'm going to do that too. But for me, that's why we also have to keep refresh this friend list over and over again who are inactive. All right? So as your new friends are coming into your Facebook uh, as in your list, yeah, and, and I never send them any birthday wish. So next year, they will get my birthday wish first time. And also, I'm going to collect your email list too. We keep doing this over and over and over and then over again. Rinse and repeat. But do I am I doing a lot of work? No, I'm not. And this is the cool thing that I found out. Wow, Facebook is awesome. A lot faster and easier than acquiring email list from TikTok or Instagram. Or YouTube. YouTube takes a long time to grow. Like even my previous mentor told me, he he actually started monetizing Facebook uh, YouTube channel nine months, consistently making video for nine months. Yes, I know it. That's why I'm not rushing with my with my YouTube channel, but I'm keep writing. I'm making YouTube video at least one or two per week. Sometimes I make three five. It depends on my schedule, but I never stop making YouTube video and putting it out. Okay, but I'm I'm not rushing because I know it takes time. But anyway, what I'm saying is utilize all the tools you have around you if possible as you can to actually run this business, guys. Okay, so now do you see I do what I do and I showed you and I demonstrated what exactly I do to grow my email list, make sales, build my audience, and rinse and repeat. Okay, that's it. 
thing that I showed you today, anybody can do this in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> less than 30 minutes, really, you can do this. 30 minutes, just rinse and repeat every day, All right? Then you can actually do some more productive stuff in your business, guys. So I hope you uh, got a lot of value today. So if you are watching this video and then um, please hashtag me, and then, um, yeah, if you really are interested in this kind of uh, a tool that I showed you today, yeah, then you can actually, um, you know, send me a direct DM or maybe you can uh, hashtag type me, then I'll get back to ASF. And also, uh, I'm going to uh, put some uh, uh, information on the, uh, on the comment, okay? So thank you for watching this video, guys, and then I will see you next time. Bye-bye.